Thank you, Master of Law Ceremony. Excellency President of the Republic of Vanuatu, Honorable Speaker of the Parliament, Honorable Deputy Prime Minister, of the Ministers of the Government, Leader of the Opposition, His Excellency Ambassador of the United States of America, with a good wife for him. All members of the Parliament, President of Long Sheva Province, Secretary General of Long Sheva Province, Excellency New Zealand High Commissioner, all members of the Diplomatic Corps, Ms. Chris Cookson, MCC Resident Director, all representative law Larvala Developing Partners, Development Partners, all Chief Longefate Faturisu Moshefa, Chairman of Members Long MCA Vanuatu Steering Committee, Mr. Chev Oldmund of the EDI Works, and all colleagues for him, all the church leaders. All people belong Shefa of Vanuatu. All directors general, all directors police commissioner, all the government officials, all man, woman, with them all pignini. Let me one great honor blow, Miss Tanablo Blessia Bagen, long. Thank you, long, you will everyone. Yesterday, Council of Ministers, even Stablo Sando, Today, Council of Ministers plus half of the government is Tablo Blesia, or Sablo Private Sector. Thank you, Blong, uh, come out this morning. Blong, you deserve to celebrate them. One major milestone, Blong, one unprecedented and historical infrastructure program. Let me acknowledge the presence of the PNG based. Ambassador of the United States of America, Mr. Ted Taylor, and his good wife. Thank you for your presence at this gathering, as well as for the wonderful words you have just shared with us. I also want to thank the MCA Vanuatu, the MCC people of the United States government, Downer EDI Works, the authorities of Sheva Province, local community leaders of Takara, Nodefate, for the welcome ceremony and for all the hard work you put into receiving us and the preparations that you made here today. I'm also delighted that the MCA Vanuatu has chosen Takara, not Efate, to host this historical ceremony, not only because of its uh, proximity to the first section of the 48 kilometers of Efate Ring Road, but also, importantly, because of its historical site as a former United States Army base during the wars of the 1940s. From the podium, we can see the remains of one of the fir first biggest and influential evolution since the European settlement first set foot in our shores some 400 years ago. This range, this range from concrete foundation, abandoned old vehicles, the stops of machine guns to the airstrips the airstrip next door. These alone represent a few largest infrastructural investments built by the United States of America in the 1940s. Most importantly, I wish to convey a special thank you to my colleagues, including the Deputy Prime Minister, Sado Kilman, 
Leader of the Opposition, Honorable Hamlini Vanwaroa, and other ministers and members of Parliament who have devoted their valuable time to attend today's ceremony, in spite of a tight trip to Santo yesterday, and to witness this, uh, or witness a, sim a similar ceremony. I've been assured by the organizers that uh, today's ceremony will be a, le a little less tense. But we are here to see what is in store for us for the rest of today. As we know, the MCA Vanuatu, the MCA Vanuatu Compact has coincided with, the contributed, with and contributed to the maturing of Vanuatu as a nation. The compact is playing a key part in our 25-year roadmap to achieve economic self-reliance and provide better services and prosperity for our people. The uniqueness of the MCC model has enabled Vanuatu to make significant improvements in infrastructure which will impact positively on all sectors. As a government, our national policy our national policy reforms have benefited from MCC eligibility criteria and improvement process, processes. The MCA Vanuatu unit has the potential to be consolidated as an ongoing national resource in international project and contract management. Government departments are learning new strategies to strengthen the environment and social management of new developments and avoid coastal erosion. We are moving quickly to establishing a long-term national road safety campaign. Our productive strength in agriculture and tourism and hospitality will benefit directly from this role. And new industries in the building and construction sector are emerging. The road projects were selected as a practical demonstration of the government's commitment to improve services and access, especially, especially for rural people, and to stimulate new investment opportunities. As I reiterated in Santo yesterday, Efate and Santo serve as the hubs for the southern and northern islands of Vanuatu, respectively. And these roads, therefore, benefit the broad population. These projects have the overwhelming support of the people of Vanuatu. This year, especially in 2010, we mark them year of long history, long young nation, long yumi, long celebrate them 30 years long independence, long him. Yumi start them road long independence, long yumi. With them one dream, or one dream no more, long silim to the most important roads, long yumi. Long dream here, long start come reality. When we believe, say, as nation, we celebrate them 48 kilometers of sealed road on Efate, more 17 kilometers of sealed road along Santo, with them people, more partners. People, blah, you may barely recognize them, say, sealing the sections of the road here. Have me one gift, blah, people, blah, America, long people, blah, Vanuatu, blah, only celebrate them, 30th anniversary, blah. Look forward, long celebrate and find in final handing over, lo both completed roads before compact MEN, lo 2011. To our traditional development partners, I wish to reiterate messages that had previously been conveyed through myself and other former prime ministers and ministers that the people of Vanuatu need your helping hands to build up this young nation. It is my dream that the donors will eventually completely align the development aid to Vanuatu's national priorities. The coordination of support and use of country systems 
in a harmonized way are crucial undertakings if aid is to be used more effectively for the Millennium Development Goals to be met in time. Therefore, at this juncture, I wish to offer my government's heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to the Government of New Zealand for being part of this significant development initiative. The Government of Vanuatu is very pleased to see that other traditional donors are joining forces to contribute towards infrastructure. In actual fact, I am standing right here on this stage that was built with the assistance of the European Union. Thank you, European Union, for assisting us in the celebration today and for also providing, I think, the toilets. In light of the unique modality of the Millennium Challenge Corporation, as cited in Ambassador Taylor's speech, it is our wish that Vanuatu qualifies for the second compact. The MCC model provides the kind of approach that helps Vanuatu to break the cycle of independence that aid has created or can create. We are all very proud that Vanuatu was selected as eligible for the MCC compact. I have personally learned from the opportunity to understand how MCC con contracts its con constructs its annual scorecard of almost 100 developing countries to de determine which countries should be eligible for MCC support. So you may have first time, the MCC representative scorecard here. I mean, involve them. All of the poor people believe me. We must raise them standard block at that because we must set them level. I mean, involve them education believe me. So you may raise them level long education believe you me because them one standard. I mean, involve them health. Lo yumi, lo yumi save, qualify, locasem, MCC, funding. We are now giving priorities to our weak areas. We are aligning our education data to UNESCO requirements and strengthening resources for health. Many thanks to UNICEF and the World Health Organization for their assistance. We are working with the IFC to strengthen our performance in trade policy, and FIBA is making breakthroughs in reducing the time and cost of setting up a business.